Hey, what's up everyone, Jared here. Now when Google announced the long awaited update to my favorite media streaming device, I was really excited to see what features and abilities it might unlock. Well, unfortunately, the new Chromecast didn't come with any of the updates I was hoping for, but it did still come with some nice improvements that should make for a more seamless experience. So if you've owned or even seen the first generation Chromecast, you've probably noticed that the new second generation looks quite a bit different, which to me is a nice change. And I like that instead of including a small HDMI extension cable, they've opted to just make it part of the Chromecast. Now, while there's a lot of people sad to see a lack of support for 4K output, I'm personally not all that beat up about it because I was already having issues casting download at 1080p high bitrate content through Plex. It just always seemed to have severe latency issues, even though my hardwired router isn't but four feet from my Chromecast. So I'd always have to change the settings down to 720p to smooth it out. Well, now the second gen Chromecast comes with added Wi-Fi antennas, and not to mention the much requested five gigahertz Wi-Fi band and 802.11ac Wi-Fi if your router supports it. And after testing to see if switching over to the five gigahertz band as well as having a just slightly improved CPU, like literally slightly as in by just one model number, I'm happy to report that after testing out several 1080p and Blu-ray rips, it didn't stutter at all, which means I can finally cast and watch 1080p content in my living room. And for me, and I'm sure for many others suffering from the same issue as I was, that right there might be enough of a reason to upgrade to the second gen Chromecast. I know it was for me. Now basically, aside from that, Everything else is in the newly updated Chromecast app, as in it's not totally useless after you're using it to first set up your Chromecast. Well, actually, there is one more software related thing with the new Chromecast, but is supposed to be included in a future first gen Chromecast firmware update, which has either already happened or should be coming very soon, which is Fast Play. So Fast Play is this new thing where let's say you already have your Netflix app open and you're browsing to see if there's anything good to watch. So you find something and then decide to hit the cast button. Well, instead of waiting for those little dots to load across the bottom of the screen, it'll just fire up instantly with virtually no wait or load time. Also, as time goes on and Fastplay starts to learn your viewing habits, it'll pre-cache certain episodes of a show you've been watching so that, again, you're instantly launched into the show with no loading screens, which you've got to admit is pretty damn cool. Uh, now that being said, you probably won't notice it happen right away because it needs to start learning your viewing habits as I mentioned before. Uh, and also, at the moment, Netflix is the only app that has Fastplay fully integrated with Google claiming more top app developers are working on adding it as soon as they can. So I guess the question now is, should you upgrade? Well. If you have the spare $35, or for us here in Canada, $45, then sure, why the hell not? It's just better. But if at the moment you aren't having any issues whatsoever casting any high bitrate content, then quite honestly, it's probably not worth it. I mean, you should either already have Fastplay or at least have it soon if you have the first Chromecast. So why waste the money? Anyways, that's my take on it, but I'm really interested to see what your thoughts on it are in the comments down below. So let me know what you think. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, do something nice today and hit that like button. And if you're new to my videos, don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me in the future. But thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.